Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. I've got a Time USB battery here. <laughs> um, yeah, they sent me those out in a separate envelope. They came just before this thing did. Uh, what is it? It's a big old battery. It's a 12 volt battery with, they, they claim 95 watt hours, but I've heard that they, they test more, so we'll find out. But this is just a box opening video. These guys sent this to me for free. I was really happy when they reached out, asked me if I want to review it. I've seen a lot of people review this. And one of the things I feel good about is when I see a company hit YouTube, people like me just, I'm one of the probably the last ones they hit, but you know, they hit a bunch of channels for van power people, whatever, to review batteries or power stations. And they, they just trust that the reviewers are going to like the product. They have confidence in their product. They're from China. They don't even care. They just reach out, send me an email. Hey, do you want this? Yes. What's your address? And they send it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I like the little graphics. But from what I've seen on these batteries recently out of China, is they did a really nice job and they've had really good reviews. So, uh, you might have seen me review a Redodo battery. If not, I'll put the link down below so you can see that review. Because I kind of talk about the battery chemistry and I kind of go into a little more depth. So I'm not going to repeat that in this video. Basically, this is a LifePo 4 battery. It doesn't even say it on the box, does it? Yeah, I think it does on the, on the side. It's a big heavy box, so it's hard to move around. But anyway... So, lithium iron phosphate is what I'm saying, okay? Life Po 4. So, the lithium iron phosphate, it's just a very safe battery chemistry. It's what I think most people are moving to. Um, even uh, in electric cars, you see, the, you see Tesla even moving to them because they're just safe. And there's some other environmental reasons and other things like that. The, they last longer, at least three, th uh, three times as many cycles as the lithium batteries have been out for a while, the NMCs, okay? The NMCs are the ones that have problems or have had problems, issues with catching fire. I, I looked on the internet just to do a search to see how big of a problem that was. And it's actually, you know, it is a problem. And it's not one of those things that happens one in a million. Well, yeah, I don't know if they sold that many batteries. But anyway, people claim all kinds of life cycles and that. So these things last like 3x more than NMCs. But I've heard some people say actual usage. I saw a paper written up. They say actual usage is more like five times actual. They went out there in the marketplace and they did a, a big survey. And they found out. And they did a bunch of testing themselves. And... They look to see how many cycles they actually last to see if the claims were, because people claim all kinds of different numbers. But I think a lot of people agree they're three times more than the NMC uh, chemistry. But from that paper, it said they're more like five times in actual usage. So they last a lot longer, they're safer, the prices come down, so they're closer to the same price. I mean, you know, so. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's an issue, especially with how much more time they last and, and the safety factor. For me, the LiFo battery, I feel much safer having these big batteries in the house than I do NMCs. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, usage case, you can use these things by themselves. You can buy power stations, and today the cost has come down. They've gotten really competitive. And the marketplace is kind of shaking out. The big players are, are doing really well. And so you see about 75 cents a watt hour in the big power stations. But just a raw battery, it's more like 25 cents or less a watt hour. And they're going to have some sales going on. So I'll put links down below on that. Um, and I think there's going to be some, I think they're giving me a special discount one uh, uh, if they do, I'll set, put down below, but I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, they're kind of doing a, a sell for the Memorial Day weekend. 
So, but I, I imagine a lot of times those cells, they last longer. So check them out. Even if it's past Memorial Day, check it out. But yeah, um, it's a very inexpensive way that if you want to power your refrigerator during loss of power, uh, that kind of thing, if you want to buy some solar panels to charge these things up, you can get a little charger, solar panel, run it to this. I'll show you how to do that um, in other videos. But yeah, it's very easy. You get an inverter, just clamp it on to this battery, run the inverter. I'm gonna uh, charge this thing up. I'll show you how to charge it. You don't have to use a charger made by them. They're very universal, uh, 12 volt battery. Lithium batteries are very universal chargers. So um, if you have any one of those electronics go bad, you can just buy a replacement. Or if you start off the smaller amperage or power one and you want to go bigger later, it's easy to do that. It's a lot easier than buying a big power station than, you know, building on that or trying to build, trying to decide on how big of a power station you need because you don't want to waste money buying a small one. So, uh, you know, jumping into backup power by buying a battery and some electronics to go around it it's a i think it's a good way to go so anyway there you go let's open up this box take a look at this battery okay let's do it all right so i got these nice stickers they sent out it's kind of pretty cool um but yeah i thought that was interesting they sent me these things they came in a separate envelope unfortunately u.s mail wasn't super careful with them so they got some creases in them but you know, I guess they'd probably still straighten out once you pull them off the backing and stuck them on something. So I got that one and this one. Time USB. <laughs> and all right, guys. So then the manual, all the instructions comes in this nice zip bag. I've kind of seen this from another battery that I looked at, which I thought was a really nice touch. So... There you go, there's a time USB, and here's a product manual. They got the little protective covers on them. And they kind of show a depth of discharge. Well, they show the uh, charging profile of a lithium versus a lead acid. Uh, this is really interesting information that they provide. Uh, I think this is really cool. And just, yeah, I mean, you can see the details in this manual showing how if you have, say, four batteries, how you'd connect them up in a series parallel. Or if you had eight batteries, they show steps one, two, three right there, how to hook them up. Nice colored brochure, makes it easy to see how to do this. So, yeah, I just thought that was a cool touch. And of course, you can always get your inverter to run off these batteries. So if you need AC power, right? All right. So this guy here is just kind of meant to fold up. Shows hook it up an inverter to your battery. Good instructions there. There you go. Here's a big old box. I think that little character is kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, this I've got it opened up here, and first thing we have is we're gonna go through this. But they've got this little tear off uh, thing I've seen on other videos, and it's good that they do that because you don't want to throw away this stuff. Which here I'm just gonna rip it open. All right, so there we go. So we have our four bolts. We only need two, so we got two spares. And then we have these caps that will go very nicely over the bolts. So if you don't, um, and they're gonna fit snug on there. I can tell right now, I gotta push real hard. So anyway, you know, if you put anything down on your battery, they'll protect your battery from shorting. All right, as I take the foam off, you can see this deep foam and how thick it is. It's very, it's pretty dense. So, and there's the battery here. Let me spin it around. All right, guys, so here is the battery. 
Uh, it's got this plastic wrapper, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take out of the box, but man, it's a big old bad boy. All right, check out this battery. I took out of the box. This is a pretty good sized battery. Now, one thing about it are these terminals are recessed, so that already makes them a little uh, bit safer than you know some other batteries I've seen. And they do they come with these little plastic tops on them, so that keeps them safe until you put your terminal posts on them. But man, look at that! That is crazy. All right, so. Um, you know, obviously, easy, easily color-coded red, black, minus sign here, plus sign here. And they do have these uh, handles, which I've kind of seen something similar to this before. But the nylon ropes and the little nylon handles. So, but these are, like, you know, like I say, this top is a little bit taller. So these are recessed. So, yeah, makes it nice. So, yeah, let me spin this thing around. Just so we can see the other side of it. I like the graphics, pretty cool, nice touch. Um, man, I'll tell you what, you guys saw me review that Redoto, right? And it was 100 amp hour. This battery's larger, but it says 95 amp hour. But what I've seen in other reviews is it actually tests more. And right here, 1216 watt hours. So we'll test that, but right now we're just doing a box opening. Yeah, I, you know, these batteries coming out of China, well, which pr pretty much all batteries do, most batteries anyway. Um, anyway, they're doing a really nice job on these batteries these days, I believe. You know, one thing I wanted to point out, just as far as construction, the side have these ribs on them, so it does make them really strong. I just was thinking about like, God, they're they're not you know pushed out like some batteries. These lithium iron phosphates are really nice, but yeah, it feels like there's actually room in that box. So uh, very strong, very nice box. All right, guys, you know what? Um, I'm glad they sent this out to me. It looks like a nice quality battery, very nice construction, nice look to it, good finish work. So, yeah, it reminds me of the Redoto battery, another one I was really impressed with. You know, there's a lot of use cases for these things. For instance, I have this EcoFlow that I really like, but it doesn't have a lot of watt hours. So I can add a lot of watt hours, a lot more power by by backing this little EcoFlow up with this guy. Or I can just get an inverter and run off of this thing to run a fridge or something. And doing it this way is just a really inexpensive way versus buying a big power station. Now, because uh, you can get inverters, you know, you have more flexibility. If the inverter goes bad, you just toss that, get a new one, versus having a big expensive power station, something goes wrong. You have to send the whole thing in You're without it for a while. Um, you know, you don't have that kind of problem when you just buy the things discreetly. And plus, you get a lot more watt hours. You can add watt hours very inexpensively by just buying two, three, four of these guys. And the price on these things, I'll put the link down below uh, because I think they're going to go on sale but I believe they're going to be like 25 cents a watt hour or less. So very inexpensive way to get power. And yeah, uh, I've got a big power station that this essentially doubles the amount of power I can run off of that. So uh, if I need a bigger inverter, I can just get this. I don't have to think like, oh man, I got to put a lot of money out for a big power station. I can just build it as I go. So very simple it's you know with a little bit of technical ability you can put together a nice power station so but yeah this just box opening kind of present this thing uh yeah it's interesting that i've had some of these companies reach out to me and and the lifepo 4 chemistry is the way to go i believe uh it's the safe way they don't you can't 
make them start a fire, essentially. I mean, they're very safe. And uh, so I like that. And yeah, and there's, you can get, you don't have to stick with the same brand to get a charger for it. You can, I've got a Redoto charger I'm going to use to charge this up, for instance. So I'll do that in the next video, okay? Um, I believe they sell, you know, everybody sells chargers and that, but that's the thing is you're not stuck in an ecosystem. You can just go buy one of these, Redodo, whatever. You can buy two of these, three, four, as you, as you feel more comfortable. You want to build a bigger power station. And it's, again, it's a very inexpensive way to build up a lot of watt hours or amp hours or whichever way you want to look at it. So, uh, yeah, check out that other video on Redodo just to, you know, so you can see usage case. And I talked more about it probably. It's a little shorter video because I just want to do a box opening, present another what it looks like to me, a very quality product. And from what I've seen from other reviewers, yeah, it seems like it is. So I don't know where these guys came from, but man, they seem like they're really making a splash in the marketplace. So there you go. Titan USB, Redoto. And you know, the handle construction is really cool how they did that. Oh, one of those guys a beast swinging around. I need to do that a few more times to get a workout. But yeah, I like the graphics. They kind of mix it up. So pretty cool. All right, guys. Hey, uh, thanks Time USB for sending this out to me. Um, appreciate it. Two thumbs up to you guys. Two thumbs up to my patrons as always. And thanks for watching the video, guys. Hit the thumbs up. Give me comments down below. Uh, what you think of this and ideas you might have. And I'm going to show some usage cases, how to run the EcoFlow or how to hook it up to other things and how to charge it. And I've got an inverter I can hook up to it. So it's really simple. I mean, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.